Hello everyone, how you doing? This is a video on how to ship teas. <clears throat> I am putting this order together here for Frankie Cato, um, YouTube subscriber and friend of mine. Uh, so basically, the supplies you'll need are paper towels, some vials or deli cups, um, something to help the tea along into the container, and I use a wooden dowel just kind of like to roll up the paper towels for the um, exterior of the uh, container. I packed one of the cobalt blues, um, haplopoma lividium in here already. So um, she is really snug in there, um, well padded in the bottom and um, basically padded all the way around. So. This video would just be on some methods to um, pack a tea. And you can tell me how I do, and any suggestions, comments are welcome. Um, this is my first time, so can always use help. I also have my mister here, so I can lightly miss the paper towels so they don't dehydrate on the way over there. And a friend of mine gave me a great idea. Use Gatorade bottle and basically guide the tea into this side. and. You put the Gatorade bottle on the on the opening, um, guide the tea in there, and they'll go right in there. Um, that's how I did that cobalt, and she went right in there. So, um, since I'm doing this one-handed, I'll pause real quick, and then come back um, once I have some of those paper towels ready to go. All right, be back in a few. All right, everyone. So, kind of make a little stand for my phone might not be able to see everything but um, here's what I'm doing these are two paper towels basically and I'm folding it in half so that it looks like one complete sheet then folding that in half then what I do is just basically cut this this folded paper towel fold it in half again so that it's a quarter and tear it straight down the middle so with this I will go ahead and cut this in half again and this right here this basically it is one quarter of that folded paper towel. I will fold, pack it in pretty good. Take the bottom and put this in here so that it makes the base. So this is really, really padded. good protection for the tea. So that's the padding at the bottom. Now take the wooden dowel and just basically pack this down some more. Work it along the walls. So now you have a pr pretty good sturdy base there for the container. Next I take the remaining of the paper towels and just kind of wrap them into a cylinder. Stick this in down here. Tear off the excess paper towel on the top. And what I do is just leave some on the top, and that'll basically be the um, top portion of the of the lid to the container. Pack them in there. 
if you tear off too much, not a problem. You have the leftover to still make a little cap for it. So just spread it out so that it's nice and fitted along the walls. And as you can see, nice and snug there for the tea. And that's where they'll go. If you wanted to add additional padding, you could do that. Um, basically, just roll another paper towel. And work it in the center of... It works better if you roll it pretty small. And then work it in the center of this. And then just expand it once it's in there. So some of these tees are not very big, they're pretty small. So this will be perfect. Perfect for them. And it's nice and really padded now. Next, take my sprayer give it a couple of mists feel it, make sure it's not too damp and if you just like kind of push on it it'll work some of that moisture into the um, surrounding paper towels and it's really not very damp so that's basically making this. Um, this one probably won't have enough to cover it up. So what I'll do is I'll use a small piece right here that I have left over and basically fold it and cut it and just make a little cap for it. Just cut it to size and make the little lid for the for the container. There we go. And this will just go right on here and make a nice little padding. So, I'll pause for a moment, prep the tea, and basically show you how to get them in there. Alright, be back in a few. Okay everyone, so the next tea is the Cyclosternum fasciatum Tiger Rump. And basically, as you can see, I just put the Gatorade bottle to the um, neck of this container. It's open at the end. And for the more wild teas, I do have a deli cup that I can close it off with and what I'll do now is basically just elevate this a little bit so I can work the tea in there so you can see her in there or maybe you can't but right here I'm elevating the credit keeper somewhat so that I can get a good angle Now I have a good angle on the Critter Keeper, and I can put my Gatorade cup in here. And they won't always go willingly. You can hear scattering, which is why the um, Gatorade container idea. And she's on the outside now. So I'm just working her in right now. She was on the outside of the container. 
but as you can see now, she is inside of the Gatorade container. And this will allow me to gently just work her further in. Just tapping her legs as if I were doing a rehousing. Ever so gently and get her worked in there. Oops, and so she's almost in. Just basically, the rear part of her is not in. Hope I'm not missing the shot there. I'm trying to make sure I don't hurt her going in here. And so she's almost in there. She doesn't want to finish going in. You can see she's part in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause for a little bit, work her in there. You get the idea. Gatorade cup is like a funnel, so they really have nowhere to go but forward which is where they usually run anyways. So they run right into the, um, the vial there. And then you have a T in a vial. All right, I'll pause for a second and be back in a few. Okay, everyone, how you doing? Back again. So finally got her in there, just worked her down really slowly and she's in the vial now. So I'll just fold this little tab here Believe it or not, the um, cobalt was a lot easier than she was because it ran right in there. Um, she wanted nothing to do with going in there. So once you have the um, tea in there, take your small paper towel lid and put it on there so, this is, so that it's nice and snug and it doesn't move. If for any reason you feel movement, you can always just pat it up a little bit. Then you take your lid and cover it up. And there you go. So once I get these guys all um, put in these files, I will um, put a little bit of tape across just so the lids don't snap loose. Um, Teeth in there comfortably, good padding. And that's basically it. So this is basically the first part, getting them all in their containers. And then uh, the next part is putting them in the uh, shipping box and getting them sent off. So I hope this helps someone. I want to thank my friend, Stephen Stamps. He was the one um, that gave me the idea on the Gatorade cup. Awesome idea. The cobalt, wish I had done that one first. Um, once I got her in the Gatorade cup, she ran right into there. But um, you get the idea. So if you have any questions or anything, feel free to uh, send me a message. And um, 
I will post, I will follow up this with um, packing them in the box. All right, everyone, be back in a few. All right, everyone, how you doing? This is the last part to the shipping video. All teas are now in these um, vials um, packed in there, ready to go. So now, put a little bit of paper in there so they don't clank around. Um, got them pretty close together. So now I'll just um, pack this in really good with some packing paper. Make sure I get it in all sides. Uh, the box is fully insulated, top, bottom sides. Um, got the insulated lid for the top of it. So, once I get it all packed, I'll put the insulated lid, close it up, and basically make sure that it's really nice and tight, no movement, and we'll be ready to ship. So, this one's going out to Frankie Cato, um, YouTube subscriber friend of mine. I got some teas from him too. I'll be doing a video of the teas I got from him. I've just been letting them um, get used to their new surroundings. But um, all right, everyone, that's pretty much it. And thanks for watching.